Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having a blooming wonderful day. Now today guys, I'm in the polytunnel and it is a lovely beautiful sunny day which is fantastic to see after weeks of dreadful weather here, here in Ireland. And today guys, I have my Camo Serious and Camo Libivius in absolutely gorgeous bloom to share with you today. And as you can see here, this is the top of um, the little plant stand and we have quite a lot of different varieties all blooming beautiful. And rather than make an individual video on both, I just thought I would show you um, what these Camelobivias and Camoceruses are like all blooming together. As I say, we have both my Camo, Camelobivias and, uh, yeah, Camelobivia and Camoceras um, in flower, and also my other Camoceras, two of them commonly known as the peanut cactus, blooming beautiful too. And also one of the Sulco Rebutias over here. But first of all, I'm going to focus on the two Camoceruses, and these are absolutely breathtaking, guys. First of all, this one here, look at that absolute stunning beauty. And this one is Camelobivia. Um, Camelobivia Wendy and it is a hybrid and it is a cross between Camoceras commonly known as the peanut type of cacti such as these here and a cross between Lobivia which um, is also sort of a similar part they come under the Echinopsis group of flowers um, and the Camo Camoceras um, sort of Lobivia group of genus and just look at this beautiful flower guys and this here, I mean, I don't know how the camera is picking it up here, but it is an absolute beautiful, like a cerisey pink colour, tinged with a lovely streak of orange going all the way through the sort of the, the middle of it and also on the tips. Absolutely beautiful. I'll just show you the, um, the petals underneath there. Very beautiful and a um, lovely sort of yellow pollen all in. Absolutely gorgeous flower. And there's lots of buds as well on the way too. So this is going to be flowering for a while. Absolutely beautiful. So that's the first blooming beautiful. And that is Camo Labivia Wendy. And then I have another one here. Now this is Camo Serious, Harry Kamak. <laughs> and um, this is absolutely stunningly beautiful. As you can see here, it's like a very, very pale, peachy orange color. Again, multiple petals, very, very beautiful, um, shiny, soft, silk-like petals. And this is the lovely, the lovely plant there. As I say, Camoceras. And um, again, all um, part of the peanut cactus fam. Keep peanut cactus as they're commonly nicknamed here. And as I say, that is Camoceras harikamak. And then we have some more Camelobivias all in bud still. And then we have a Camoceras here. And this one is just starting to sort of open. And this is commonly known as the sort of the more common peanut type of cactus. And that is a lovely deep, deep sort of almost like a red orangey colour. And this was gifted to gifted to us as cuttings from our friend Jim at the Dublin branch of the Cactus and Succulent Society. And um, he's had this plant many, many years. He gave us a few little cuttings and it's doing very well, as you can see. And then this is a Silco Rebusia, not um, obviously... Um, part of this, um, the same genus here, but just want to share that with you as well. I have made a separate video on this beauty, absolutely beautiful. And then here I have my um, one of my very old um, Camo Serious, commonly known as the peanut cactus, um, there with just one flower on it. There now, this is similar, obviously, the same type of plant that I just showed you there, the other one um, that I had there, which is this one, but this one has more of a deep red, sort of like a deep red orange flower. And this one here is more of a paler colour orange flower, so they do vary. And um, as you can see, lots of multiple scents. Had this one a long time, and this one is one I've had for a very, very, very long time. One of the very first cacti I ever had when I was 12 years old. And um, sad to see it's not in flower this year, but there's still plenty of time. And this is actually in recovery mode because last year it had dreadful uh, mealy bug and I had to completely take the whole plant apart debug it and I'm happy to say there's no sign of mealy bug um, this year at all so I think a lot of the energy is all going to the roots because it had to had to treat the whole plant as cutting so hopefully that should be covered and that's it guys so I hope you like to see what's blooming beautiful in the polytunnel today and if you want to know a little bit more on how to grow cacti and succulents if you're new to the hobby do check out my website DesertPlantsOfAvalon.com So guys, I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness 
and tons and tons of flower and cactus power from across the Emerald Isle. And until the next video, bye. 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 <laughs>